51 miles. Yes, there's no way I'm getting to the Cotswolds with that amount of fuel. Good morning or good evening or whatever it is you're watching this video. Welcome back to Steph AB TV. Welcome to another video. Today's video is a proper vlog. Um, so we are on our way down to the Cotswolds. I'm in the 4C. I'm just letting it do its warm up thing. And I cleaned it yesterday and because of all the dew at night, it's just got covered in condensation, I believe is the word for it. Um, but yeah, so good morning. So I'm off today to an FCA, so Fiat Chrysler Automobiles drive day, where basically the entire press fleet of cars is available for us influencers uh, to have a go in. But for now, I need fuel, so let's do this. Oh, traffic. How is that even a thing? I've still got nearly, well, it says a quarter tank, but my range is zero. <laughs> that is just hilarious. Making the most of the interior cabin space here as a luggage compartment. Yeah. Use your rubbish on a morning. That's the problem when you set off at 8.09. I've got about an hour and a half journey. So this is funny, look. Literally, weight saving, there is no fuel cap. It's just a bit of plasticky bit here. And then obviously you push in and it opens up. But um, yeah, I'll show you how much this costs to fill up. Not as much as you would think. There you go. 43 quid to fill up. <laughs> the 4C. That's just hilarious. It's so cool. It's literally 43 quid for a full tank. Madness. <laughs> Man, I love this car. The other very cool thing about the 4C is that everybody, and I mean everybody, moves out of your way like when you're on the motorway. It's hilarious. Okay, so I have arrived at the FCA driving day. We'll lock the 4C up and let's go and see what's going on because it's a very, very nice location. The roads down here have been absolutely incredible, I must say. It's a great opportunity to have a go in the 4C and really unleash it through some nice tight and twisties. But the location out here, kind of near the Cotswolds, I think is the right area for it. But um, I'm gonna show you inside because there are some really, really cool things in there. And of course, there are some cool cars. But in this video, I'm gonna give you a kind of little snippet of what I've driven. And then each of the cars will kind of come as their own individual video, if that makes sense. But um, let me show you inside. <laughs> that is madness. Just dunk your dog in here. If you have a dog and you want to take it for a wash, there you go. Right, let's stop messing around. Sorry guys. So here we are, we're at the Fish Hotel. It looks really, really nice and we've kind of got all of this conferency area for ourselves. But there's a specific room which I'm going to show you which is kind of dedicated just for a bath. And there's some absolutely incredible artwork that you all need to see because they've taken a lot of time. Here we go. Look at this room. Look at what's been done here, guys. Some beautiful artwork. Look at that. Tell me that that is not insane. Obviously, this is all here to celebrate the 70 years of a bath. Very, very nice. Whoever kind of designed these is insane. We've obviously got a simulator game here for us all to have a go at. There's a few YouTubers here as well. Petrol Ped, uh, LK Horizons here. A couple more of these lovely bits of artwork here that you all need to see. My favourite one, though. That one's cool. But this. This is my favourite one. And... For those of you who are in the Abath Punto Collective, look, see, they're all in here. Yeah, that is really, really cool. 70 years of Abath, they've done well. So this is kind of our base, if you like. Got a little football table here. And the kind of way these, um, these events kind of go is, they're a whole day out. Um, basically the press teams bring all of the press cars out here to one location. I invite a whole lot of influencers, journalists, etc. And uh, what we then do is we go and test drive. Uh, so there's a couple of cars here that I really like. There's a couple of cars that I haven't driven before either. Uh, there's a Rally 124 Spider um, that I really want to drive and make a video on. So that's going to be one video. Um, there is a Giulio Veloce, for the Giulio Veloce I've never driven. So I want to see what that's like. That's 280 horsepower and see how different that is to the Giulio QV. Uh, what else? Oh, and the 595 SS, the SSA, that is here. So I need to be film I will be filming that, a first drive video on it. But it will be a relatively quick video because time constraints on these days are they're a bit of a challenge. You don't have too long with the cars, but I will try and make sure I can get hold of the SASA off of a Bath UK to spend more time with it and give you guys a real kind of 
feel as to what it's like to live with the car. But that's it for now. Um, I do like these crates. What do you think? These crates are, they're madness. Complete madness. I love them. I just need to put these in like my house somewhere. But yeah, a really, really nice hotel. Well done. Great location, guys. Ow! <laughs> Look who it is! Hey! The weather's rather, rather uh, Mate, awful. it's a rather nice little rally car you've got on here. There's no grip on that. I know, it's hilarious, isn't it? It's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> Guys, for if you don't know, this is Petrol Ped, of course. How are you? I'll tell you what, you go enjoy that. I'll finish up with this. You're in my photograph space. Yeah, I know. I saw you do it, so I stole it. But um, yeah, enjoy a bit of uh, traction, you know. Have fun. <laughs> Maybe reverse. <laughs> Oh, the weather has literally changed for the worse. Oh, yeah. I'm moving away as uh, Pete lets this person through. I'll get a quick shot of him pulling off. But yeah, this is a this is a Giulia Veloce. And look, it's carnage everywhere now. We've got a Quadrifoglio. We've got one of these. It's all over the shop. Absolutely all over the shop. But yeah, look at this. There's its own video on this on the channel. Oi, lads. Oh, QV over there, there's loads going on. Oh, look at that! It's turning into carnage. Carnage! I'm just vlogging in the rain. And I'm trying, what I'm trying to do here, guys, is get some B-roll for the video on the Giulia Veloce. Uh, I'm struggling now because it's literally starting to tip down, so we need to go back inside. But uh, yes, yeah, so obviously you saw Pete there with the uh, Path 124 Rally liveried car. Um, there is a video on that. There's a video on this. I've still got to film a video on the SASA. And if I have time, a quick revisit of the Quadrifoglio. Oh, it's a busy, busy day. Oh, guys, look at this. Look how lovely this area is. Oh, let me climb up the hill so you can see the views. What a beautiful location this is. Obviously, I've just now come back from driving the Giulia Veloce and we've got our own little setup here. I can smell the barbecue. Oh my word, look at that. That's insane. So this will be, uh, this will be lunch. Let's tuck in. All right, so here's a little blast of the past, guys. Do you guys remember this? There's a bit of sun glare there. The Jeep Trackhawk, remember when we had that? Insane. And also, you can see here we've got the Rubicon. There's two launches kind of, and two cars that we've both had on the channel. And uh, here's my food. Yeah, I've got a bit of mozzarella, some barbecue chicken, and a bit of beef. Yeah, no, I mean, overall, look, look at this. It's so stunning over here. Really, really nice. What a great location they've chosen for an event. Okay, so I'm conscious I haven't really shown you much. And what I'll do when I get to the end of the video, I'll jump back in the 4C and I'll summarize a little bit more because um, it's been a really busy day. But for now, I just thought I'd show you what's about. Uh, there's still cars out on the drive, so obviously Revale's floating around here. What I should have here is a Giulia Quadrifoglio, a Stelvio Veloce. We've got the Fiat 500 here. There was also a Tipo. 500, uh, a Tipo 1.4 Fiat here, Jeep Compass, Jeep Renegade, oh there's the Veloce, hidden in the background, uh, you've got the Stelvio, there's a Stelvio Quadrifoglio that's here as well, Julia Quadrifoglio I mentioned for Jeep, uh, which one's that one, is that the Sahara? I think that's Sahara, and another Compass, but um, I'm waiting for these cars to come back, so I can kind of show you a little bit more, uh, and probably, probably get the thumbnail. I think I might need that for the thumbnail. Um, I'm waffling now, aren't I? Anyway, just taken the SS out, SASA out uh, to film a video with, which you guys probably would have already seen because I made sure I got this video out before anything else just because timing is so important on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of out here floating around the, uh, the lovely greenery of Oxford slash the Cotswolds, I think that's where it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's oh, this is a cool car, guys. This is a really cool car. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. The thing is, with these kind of trips or these press days, you get really exhausted because, like, this is like this is video four, four, yeah, including this one. This is video four I filmed in one day, um, and the day goes so quickly. But I had to film this, and yeah, I thought I'd show you a quick little behind the scenes. I kind of just found a random location to put the car to get a bit more B roll. Um, but yeah, I think the um, the day will be coming to a close uh, pretty soon. So I'm going to head back down to the hotel and see uh, what everyone else is doing. Get some soft drinks because my mouth gets really dry um, when I film videos. So I always forget to drink water. And it's really bad. But let me show you, uh, in fact, whilst we're here, a little schnicker picky. Um, let's get inside the car. Oh, ah, oh. oh, look at that. 
Grass everywhere. Here it is, SSA, SSA. Really nice car. And of course you've got the 70 years of a bath stitching over there. They've done well with this car. This is a good one. This is a very good one. Such a good looking car. Right, there he goes, there he goes. See, perfect. <laughs> so there's a reason for this madness and it's because Jack from Drive Tribe and Jack Scarlett, um, he forgot to film the front end of this car. So he asked me and Darren's just having fun. <laughs> what a ledge. Um, so I'm gonna get, take a couple of shots for Jack of that, but obviously the Julia, I've done, I've done videos with the Julia, so I'm not doing an individual video on this car specifically, although I would like to get this in the summer months in red, because it looks insane. We do have a couple of us, we've got Luke. Luke going? LK Horizon, he is back on the Long tube. Time, no, about time, my friend, about time. So you've just been out in this, haven't you? I have, and I, I'm still struggling with It's words. amazing, like, isn't it? it? It's just incredible. Like, it's a wicked, it's wicked car. perfection in yeah. a car. It's an amazing car. What did you think, man? It hates shifting from first to second slowly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, such a cool car. Such a cool car. It's been a really, really good day. It's been a busy day. I did say, if you guys follow my Instagram stories and you watched it, you would have seen that I said this is going to be a mental day for filming. Um, four videos have been banged out today and I am absolutely exhausted. Anyway, let me get these shots for Jack. So, before I end the day, I, the guys at FC have very nicely parked what is, well, the best current path out there at the moment for me i think that's just i love that and i keep saying it and i know that most of it is trim related but it does have stuff like the uh, the suspension and it does make a difference and it looks so good but next to what for me is the one of the ultimate super saloons just an incredible car so much power and it just looks absolutely stunning i wanted to quickly show you guys this is this is very cool as well so if you decide to pull the button on an n-ring edition so that's for julia or stelvia obviously the n-ring is the one that is matte gray um, you get these very cool kind of racing gloves that come with the n-ring you get these awesome quadrifolio cuffs these i really like these i think these are actually linked if it focuses where are we there you go i think these are i don't know whether they're prada shoes or not but they look so good look at that you get those free as well. You don't get the picture of the F1 car. You get a nice little shoe bag, of course, but also you get a very nice kind of N-ring uh, Alfa Romeo jacket fleece thing, which is very cool. Sparko inspired. Oh man, what a day. What a day. Back in the, uh, in the Fosse, in the Alfa Fosse. Funny fact, a couple of people here today thought that this car uh, was part of the uh, of the driving day, which I find really amusing. But no, it's not. This is my little personal baby that is not available uh, to drive. Well, not on this day anyway. So it's time to head home. So how can I recap? I guess what's been what what today's been because I realise it's a um, bit of a vlog and it's kind of been a bit all over the place. So yeah, I filmed four videos today, uh, one of which has already gone live, which is the uh, 595 SASA video, which I'm sure you guys would have already seen. Uh, and I'm not sure whether any of the others would have gone live. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little quick recap so you guys all know what to expect, or if you haven't already subscribed, you can subscribe and go and watch those videos. Um, so the first car I filmed today was the Abarth 124 uh, GT rally kind of thing. Uh, it's basically like a fake Abarth 124 uh, rally car. It was a Bath tribute to uh, the 70th anniversary and they did it right. It was some really cool livery, all done by the guys from the press garage. That was awesome. Uh, I then drove the uh, Giulia Veloce, uh, which is a car that a lot of you guys have mentioned before in the comments, which is why I wanted to film it, uh, which is effectively the car beneath the Quadrifoglio. Uh, so I filmed that and I filmed this video. So it's safe to say I am completely exhausted. My mind is is about to blow up because don't forget I've been trying to remember what I have or haven't filmed for this video whilst filming a load of others. So uh, yeah, don't feel sorry for me. It's my own decision. I probably could have just come here and film one or two videos. But like an idiot, I wanted to film as much content as possible. 